making goodie bags for baby's birthday party no, tomorrow no. and we got all our candy over here we'll show you more we're watching Grease in the background in honor of Olivia Newton John um anyways this is us <laughs> she's so excited I'm trying to hurry up before she loses her mind um so come along and watch us make some goodie bags We're gonna start. No, you're not eating another one. That's enough candy. I know, baby, but we already ate some. Hold on. We're having a candy break after. Ah. 
Ah, a monk boy. Remember, it's just four. Remember? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bruh. Oh, wow, we went way over. Good job, babe. You're doing awesome. Thank you. Hello. Whoa, way more than four. Four. <laughs> Two, three, four. Thank you. Thank you. Daddy, first one. Oh, yeah, you're right. There's four. Four. Okay, the next one. Opa, is there four in there? Okay, thank you. for friends. For those who are coming to the party, sorry, I need to speak up in case you guys can't hear me that well. This is what happens when you can't find your party theme in Samoa. You improvise. And these uh, goodie bags weren't that expensive. Got it from Dad's Job, SOS, and I got a discount, which is nice. Employee discount. And so yeah, we're improvising. I had a friend from church who was such a sweetheart. She wanted to help out, but we've just been so crazy busy that I told her I don't think we're gonna have time to. She wanted to make these cute little uh, Moana and Maui theme bags and get all creative and make them, but I honestly had no energy and no time to do it after the hassle of venue change. She's the Oma, thank you. It's on, babe. Uh, venue change, and then we had more issues. Well, not more, but my cute little—I thought it was cute. Didn't buy chocolate because it melts too too fast. Anyways, venue change that happened to us. Finding the new venue was great, and then we went shopping yesterday. I was gonna take you guys along with us, but it was raining. I had family with us. Lottie and Zarona came with us. And it was just, I was too busy trying to make sure I got everything on my list. So I was like, you know what, I'm not filming. So I thought I'd film goodie bags and give you a little update. So I don't know if I ever told you guys, but our menu was barbecue chicken and hot dogs from McKenzie's, which are amazing. And 200 kekipuas from Sula's because we absolutely love them. Those are our baby's absolute favorite too. And then 10 large pieces from Georgie's. Anyways, go to Sula to do our shopping and to ask them if we can place our order. Because I went a month ago and they're like, oh, you can't place in advance. You just come a few days. Now I understand why. But I was curious because I didn't notice until Sarona pointed it out like hey there's no breads or anything and they had a sign sorry there will be no baked goods for the whole the rest of the week and I'm like okay maybe it's just breads I didn't even bother to look down you guys seen in my other video the shopping video at Sioux Laws they have the displays where the bakeries are and it's not too far from where the bread was but I was so busy trying to get sodas and other stuff that I didn't bother to look over there that we stopped uh, one of the workers and was like hey um can we order cake and she's like 
oh sorry there's not gonna be any for the rest of the week and i was like what <laughs> what did you say i was pissed and then she she was like sorry we're out of uh flour there's a flour shortage and i was like what do you mean like <laughs> i was just stuttering and angry and hot and all the emotions and i was hungry and i was like okay so what if i buy flour from somewhere and bring it she's like oh no sorry we can't do that i should have asked a manager i should have known better to go ask a manager because i was pissed and obviously that it's not her fault it's it was no one's fault it's just the realities of living on an island when things run out things run out and then those that do have stuff tend to gouge the hell out of you on prices. You just keep going. That remote doesn't work. It's okay. Yeah. You can play. Yeah. Please be careful, though. Oh, this kid. She's already gotten in trouble twice today. She's been given attitude, and she's got a mouth on her, this one. I've been trying to be lenient and not be a mean grouchy mom just because things aren't going my way and it's so hard and I feel so bad when she gets in trouble because I'm just right after I'm just like oh my gosh I suck but anyways we were doing goodie bags and we've been having oh, fun gosh. Oh, gosh. oh gosh this part obviously I'm not letting her be a part of just because I don't want her to hurt herself <laughs> no, she's over here talking to you guys. I had to figure out something and I had to figure it out fast because party is tomorrow. And this is yesterday, by the way, with the Kekipua's incident. Or, oh, there's Noah's Manapua, <clears throat> meat bun, whatever you want to call it. But Sulaz has the best. They're, they're hands down the best. So what did I do? We continued shopping. I was thinking maybe I'll buy like 10 fish and chips and 10 chicken and chips. Because the manapuas are really for the kids. Um, I mean, adults can have them too because I know they're going to eat them too. But I was like, it's just little finger food type things. You can just grab one. Hey, chill out. Chill. She's over here yelling at you guys about her dad. Who's not even here? He's at work. I'm just thinking, or like, what can I do to make up for this? You know, I don't want to cook anything. I don't want to be busy. And even if I wanted to cook something I want, chances are everything's running out because it's Father's Day weekend. And apparently everybody just wants to feast, of course, for their dads, which is awesome. But I was just annoyed. So we went to Mackenzie's. I went there for something else. I went in that store three times, three separate times. I think my, no, yeah, my original reason of going there was to make sure there's not going to be any issues with my order that we've already paid and that we'll still be able to pick up at the time we're supposed to this tomorrow. And she was like, yeah, we're still good. And then I seen they had kekipuas. I asked one of the workers in the bakery, are your kekipuas good? Are your manapuas good? And she was like, oh yeah, they're huge. I was like, how much are they? And she was like, it's too tall off. Which, <clears throat> I think it's super reasonable for the size of it. It's definitely double Sulaz. But the thing about Sulaz is their Kekipua um, is just perfect proportion, nice and small, and it tastes so good. It's got a bit of a kick, but we love it. So I got four for me, baby. And Wai or Sarona and Wai to try. And, um, why can't I tell them about them? Mind your business, girl. I mind your business. I mind your business. You see? You see? You see what I got to deal with? Let me call daddy. Wow. It's my new threat. We're gonna go to bed. Oh, you think I'm playing? You think I'm playing? 
Okay, stop yelling, please. It's okay. She's playing with the remote. Usually she's not supposed to touch the remote, but this is the actual remote, so she can mess that one up. It doesn't work, and it has no purpose. So we all tried it in the car right there outside of Sioux Laws. I was like, I was, I allocated 200 tall law for Sioux Laws um, to get 200 because they're only a tall law there. Okay, I was so want eh, eh, please don't yell. Mom's mom's trying to tell our subscribers, trying to spill the tea to them about life on this island. I'm so dramatic. It's fine. It's just if you plan stuff out here, expect for some changes, some delays, some stuff that you just can't avoid because of the supply chain, logistics and all that. And then expect to pay more, especially if it's over a holiday, a public holiday, which Father's Day is a holiday here in Samoa. If you didn't know, now you do. So what that means is Monday, all government official buildings and jobs, banks will be closed. So that's gonna be fun. Those workers will have a day off and I don't think Ola will have that day off. I guess I will find out today if he remembers to ask, but <sighs> Can you tell I'm just mentally exhausted? I want this party. Not that I care what people think. I'm doing this for my baby. I want her to enjoy herself. And I, of course, I want all the other kids who come to enjoy themselves. I know the parents are going to... I hope they enjoy themselves too. But my main priority for tomorrow is to make sure my baby enjoys herself. That she gets to swim, that she makes friends, that she doesn't get hurt or cry. So I need a, a little attitude check before tomorrow because I don't want to be grouchy and then take it out on my kid. That's just my TED talk for today. I feel like that's all I've been having. <laughs> oh my gosh. So that's our update. We got a new venue. We ordered because I didn't finish that thought, because I'm crazy. We ended up ordering 100 kekepua'as for uh, um, Mackenzie's. They're really yummy. And it's bua'a, not mamwe. Bua'a's pork, and uh, mamwe's lamb. Lamb is what they have in Sula's kekepua'a, which I absolutely love lamb, mamwe. And kekepua'a, I mean, obviously it's in the name. Bua'a's pork, that's usually what's in a manapua. And that's what Mackenzie's has. And it's so good. So, and it's huge. So I was like, 100 is fine. It's fine. Oh, and I think I forgot to tell you guys, but we ordered 100 churros from a church member who actually had a stand at the night market. The churros, wherever that video is, the passport, our passport video, where we went to the night market, baby tried her first churro. It so happens to be the guy who um, runs that booth. His name is Ben. Shout out to Ben. Toy Lolo? I think, I think it's Toy Lolo. I'm sorry if it's wrong. But he makes bomb, bomb churros. Like it reminds me of the swap meet. Growing up, Saturday mornings, going to the swap meet was a treat. And getting a churro was even a bigger treat. So he makes churros. We love them. Baby loves them. So he asked him if he can make a hundred of the same size, just the little calf churros. So basically, we're getting a hundred of those. Kids can eat it, adults, whoever, it's kind of first come, first serve type thing. Once it's gone, it's gone. Well, we got plenty of cake coming. We'll have to get some ice cream tomorrow morning when I go pick up all the food. It's gonna be hectic. And I hope I get to film. I hope I get to film everything. It's just, I gotta mingle, you know, I gotta be a good hostess and still watch out for my kid because there's a pool right in the middle of the venue and I don't want any issues where kids push each other in or babies running, slips, anything. Like, I don't know, I've been thinking of the extremes. My mom brain going to work right now. We will be doing some prepping tonight. I'll see if I'll film that. I'll be making everything for potato salad tonight because it'll just be easier to get it out the way. I don't wanna, excuse me, I gotta scratch my kid's back. Her and her dad, 
They need to hire their own back scratchers. AKA mom. Mom, do I? She's so much like her dad, side note. It drives me crazy, but I love it. Okay. That's enough. So yeah, maybe I'll try to film again tonight. Definitely want to get you guys all involved, especially all our family and friends. And of course, our subscribers. We consider you guys our family too. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you for all the love, all the comments. Sorry if it's a day or two late that I reply because service in Lali drives me insane. I think it's just where we're located, but still we're right in the front of the mountain and our house is a few feet lower than other homes. And definitely because of the aluminum roofs, no service on rainy days at least. On good days, our service is pretty fine as long as we have credit. <laughs> but anyways, thank you if you made it this far. Drop down and uh, leave a star. My baby loves stars. Leave a star in the comment. I'm gonna finish Mama, these bags. Mama. Yes? Papa. I know, we'll pick him up when he's off, okay? I'm gonna go feed my baby too. We'll see you guys in a bit or later or whatever. We'll see you guys. Hey guys, sorry I know I was supposed to show you guys our prep last night. As you can see, it's, yeah. We are here, finally, it's Saturday. Don't mind the messy hair. This is our venue for baby's birthday party, our backup venue, thank God. Uh, we're setting up, so I haven't been able to film that much. But here's our birthday girl. Say hi. She wants to, I told her we're gonna set up the table for her and her friends to sit at. Uh, we had a little scare, baby fell into the pool and dad jumped in right after, luckily, He's okay, baby is definitely okay. She's not too traumatized. She still wants to swim and she's ready for that. So I will do my best to be present, but also get some footage for you guys. So we hope you guys enjoy today along with us. It's a bittersweet moment because we've waited for this for so long to celebrate her being with her. But um, we're, we're definitely missing all our family and friends. I wish they were here, but we're so glad we have new family and friends, you know, people to call family and those to call friends here with us. That's actually one of my friends from, she's my coach, uh, I can't, Liza. That's Liza, she's making a balloon arch for baby. And I love the background, it's the, it's a picture of the waves. So we're about to finish up. I'll be back guys. Say bye baby. Bye. She's bye. too excited. I was gonna tell what happened after because baby fell in the pool. She was crying. She was fine after her and dad were completely soaked. So they went up to our room uh, to change and shower but while I went and ran errands. So please do tell us your conversation, <laughs> you and babies. So my daughter starts laughing, right? After I gave her a shower and I'm like, what's so funny? And she's looking in the basket and she sees her goggles that we bought her to to swim with. And she goes, well, uh, yeah, like, that's what, see what happens. See what happens. And, and I was like, what happened what? She said, see what happens when I didn't wear my goggles? And I said, that's not the point. I said, the point is you fell in the swimming pool. You don't know how to swim. And she said, yeah, but you see what happened when I don't wear the goggles? I fell inside the swimming pool and all the pool water went inside my eyes. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was like, this little girl is something else, man. Dad was over there about to have a heart attack. Same with me. We're about to die. And she's over here like, see what happens when you don't listen to me? I told you to put my goggles on. <laughs> oh my gosh. At least we can laugh about it now. She's perfectly fine. Huh, baby? She's already got her swimsuit on. She's ready to go. And we're stuck in traffic. Going to get our Georgie, Georgie's pizza pickup and then we gotta go get our chicken and hot dogs from Mackenzie's. Oh, and our manapuas, kehipuas. So, oh my gosh, that was a good laugh. That was too funny. Thanks for sharing, babe. Yeah. <laughs> Even though he's traumatized. All right, guys, we'll see you in a little bit. Bye. It's 15 minutes before our party's set to start and we're stuck in traffic. 
and we don't have the chicken and hot dogs. Go, go, go. We are trying not to give any room to anybody. It is crazy busy everywhere. And just traffic moving at snail pace. It's Father's Day weekend here in Tamil and everybody's out and about last minute and we're along with them. Okay, that was just my quick update. <laughs> Love you. One more picture. Just one. I gotta show you guys this. Oh my goodness. I love her cake. I got cupcakes. Yeah. And then we got her full sheet. That's so beautiful. Thank you, Jacinta. And we got a thousand foods and we gotta make plates. So I gotta go. Bye, guys. crazy I am adding this clip into baby's birthday party video one as an apology <laughs> and two to give you guys an update so as you can see I am not at home I'm actually at my new job which I've been here for almost a month now so not new anymore but um, I'm just out on our back patio here's a quick little look um, First update, Ola no longer works there. <laughs> Long story short, it was not a good fit for him. So, Ola is Mr. Mom. He stays home with baby and he's so much happier. Baby's happier, I'm happier. I love my job. It's an American-based company. I don't know how much I can divulge, not that it's anything bad or anything um, confidential, but I'll wait to talk to my superiors before I share on my personal channel about my work. Well, I'm extremely happy. I love it. Now, like I said, this video is to address 
the short clips that I have for baby's birthday party. I intended on filming and then the events of the day. I don't know if my sister's gonna post the videos before or after this, but baby almost drowned at her birthday party during setup. So that was a huge scare. She was totally fine after. Uh, she was traumatized and it took her a long time to come around. She really didn't start enjoying the pool until everybody left. <laughs> And it was just us. I ended up going live on our Facebook page for our families to watch. But even that, I just left it on a stand. And I had to be a hostess and try to enjoy my baby's birthday party as much as I could. Huge shout out to our family, the Eva family that we live with. They were a huge help. Like Sarana and Wa'i and Anna and Anna's friend who was there with us. They helped us so much. They set up where we couldn't they were there when we couldn't be there huge shout out to jacinta on facebook she just opened up her own little shop in town across from georgie's um the road across from georgie's you head back and she's got a little shop over there i think it's called two bakehouse if you're in samo go check her out she's amazing her her baked goods are so good so anyways we had chicken hot dog geke pua'a from Mackenzie's. We had t in total 11 large pizzas from Georgie's. And then our family made rice. I made potato salad. And um, our family also made bananas. So, and I bought chips to so the kids can have something. Me and baby made goodie bags. You've probably already seen that. And it was just, I was too busy in the moment catering to others and in my downtime, I would talk to my friends that I invited from the gym, tried to mingle with some of our family members, not family members, our guests, I should say. We invited people from our village that we live in in Lolii. We invited friends from our gym that we go to, the Heems Fitness Center in Vaivase. And then who else do? I invited family, uh, my great uncle and my second cousin, not baby's biological family, but on the other side of the family. But they couldn't make it because the weather was bad. Uh, Savai boats were canceled to come. My great uncle is the high, the Sao of our family. I think the highest chief of our family, and he lives in Savai. And I invited him and his daughter, who's technically my auntie, but she's younger than me. <laughs> but they couldn't make it because of the boats. And then my cousin, I think she went out to Savai for Father's Day weekend. That weekend was just a lot going on. But we had a great turnout. We ended up having way too much food. So we sent people home with like, I want to say like 20 chickens and like 10 hot dogs each, each family. And then like cake, as you guys can see, we had a lot of cake, a two tier cake. That was amazing. One layer was chocolate, one layer was um, red velvet. Those were our two favorite that we sampled from Jacinta's. And then we had 48 cupcakes, half chocolate, half red velvet. And then we had a full sheet that was chocolate, I believe. I can't remember now. The cake was amazing. The food, me and Ola barely ate. I think I had half a gehipua'a throughout the party. Baby ate a little bit here and there, but we really didn't eat until after everything was said and done. We were all showered and everything. And then we ate. Then we opened presents, which you'll see, or if you've already seen. So, <laughs> This is now current time for the, for the video that's gonna come. This is today's September 8th or 9th, I think. It's a Friday, Telila week. So we've just been crazy busy and I feel horrible. My poor sister, shout out to my sister. She makes our videos look amazing. Lulu, we love you. And if you haven't subscribed by this point, just join the craziness join our family on our adoption journey we hope you guys like it enough to subscribe like comment share do your thing help us out <laughs> with the algorithms for our current subscriber and everyone who's been commenting thank you so much thank you guys for all your kind words i love reading through them i don't always get to them all in the same day that you <laughs> you guys comment but I try to hurry and respond within a few days when I can when I have free time and it's usually now at work <laughs> when I will respond if you made it this far in the video drop down a 
let's do a birthday cake. My baby is still on a birthday high. She asked when she can have another happy birthday and she randomly sings happy birthday here and there. She loved being loved. She, if you guys just see her face, she lights up. She, when we were singing the happy birthday song, I was about in tears and it cut off her blowing the cake candle because I wanted to be present in that moment. And I felt like I was being too focused on filming for you guys, not for you guys, but for the channel. Like these are also memories for us. But so I do apologize that I didn't get much and we did take a lot of pictures, but I hope you guys still enjoyed us making goodie bags and her opening presents and things like that. We have more videos in the works. They're just all delayed because life, life. And then service in Samoa isn't great. <laughs> I'm gonna complain about that until the day I leave Samoa. But anyways. That is all for this little addendum to our video. I hope you guys enjoy. Thessaly says thank you. She loves all the attention. And a shout out to everybody who says hi to us here in Samoa. I know we're doing a shout out in another video, but Dennis and Tasha, if you guys ever see this, we love you guys. Thank you so much for saying hi. And then some of the other viewers who are here in Samoa now for Tewila and on vacation, thank you guys for making us feel special. Okay, family, we'll see you later. Bye. Oh my goodness, it's been quite the day. Baby is pooped. She wants to open her presents, so we'll show you guys that. And yeah, then we're gonna call it a night, and oh my gosh, my face looks tore up. Anyways, we'll show you guys her opening her presents. You ready to open your gifts? All right, let's see. This is from the Toy Lolos. This is happy birthday. Oh. oh, what is it? Let's see. Oh, it's a Boeing set. Thank you, guys. How cute is this? Big Hero 6. Oh, I think that one's from Natara and her kids. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Happy third birthday, Thessaly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you need help? No. You got it? Yeah. Okay, let's turn it this way. Oh, wait, wait. You got one more thing. Oh, you got a backpack. Oh, look at that. That's so pretty. Oh, Aladdin, Princess Jasmine. Emma, Emma, yeah. No, it's just new, baby. What's <laughs> up? Nice. It's so nice. Hey. Right, let's see. So this is her backpack. Thank you, Litara, um, Elora, and Tua. Thank you, guys. <gasps> okay, remember? And the Kakala E. So you have found it, Kayao Kakala. And she got a cute little helper um, toy. Yeah. Lingy. Whoa. Wow. What is it? Oh, thank you, Abby. Thank you, Nella. Thank you, Lingy. It's a mini tableware. Oh, she's going to love this. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's a piano, Blue's Clues Interactive Blues. Musical Mat. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, wait who's that shabby, one from? Shabby, shabby. Hold on, hold on, baby. Hold on. It's in the front. Oh, no. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, wait. Hold wait. on. Let's see who it's from. When we have the Atahanga on the Tolu Tau Sanga Tessili, on the Fahanga, on the Laina, and the Tina, on the Fahana. Oh, thank you. Kali, Pepe, Fakali, Fakali, Kakala, Mamona. Her invitation card. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Tina, for Laina, and Lassi. Oh, you got a lot of toys. 
She's got some number magnets for the fridge. Oh, wow, so pretty. You got a cute girl charm doll set. Thank you, guys. Oh, and little animals. What are these? Animal puzzles. Thank you, guys. She's getting up. Who's that one from? Wait, baby. Oh, I don't know where this came from, but whoever brought this, thank you guys so much. You got a unicorn bubble shooter? Oh man, she's going to love this. Thank you, whoever brought these gifts. Thank you. No, we'll, we'll open them tomorrow. Say thank you. Thank you guys for all the gifts. Thank you for coming to Destiny's party. Thank you for all the support. And if you haven't followed us on YouTube, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please like, share, comment, and turn on that notification bell for more content of our adoption journey here in Samoa. From the CEO family, from the Romero CEO, I know. We love y'all.